video is demonstrating how to uh, carry out an infection with your bacteriophage and how to use top auger. So we have our diluted bacteriophage. We have some BTK, a half mil sample, and our supplies. So there's a couple different ways you're going to do this. In the um, very beginning of your experiment, one of the things that you're going to do is you will have your uh, early samples that you will, phage samples that you'll streak out on plates. And so we did that in the last video. So we have a plate that we streaked out the sample. So this is Caruso 829, phage sample number four of six, streak, and there's the X right there. Um, showing that's where the streak ended. So what we're going to do is we're going to put top auger on that. So we have the top auger. What you don't want to do when you use top auger is bring them to your desk in advance. You have to get them one at a time. You can't um, uh, you, you can't get them in advance because they will dry. Uh, they, excuse me. They will solidify in the tube. Okay. With top auger, you got to work very quickly and carefully at the same time. Okay, so we have that, and then we have another plate that we've gotten prepared. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a infection. And so we have a plate here, it says Caruso uh, 829, phage sample number four, and we will take this 10 to the zero tube and we'll set up an infection. So the infection takes a few minutes. Let's go ahead and get that started. Most of our infections are gonna be half a mil, unless you change it with 50 microliters of your sample. So let's go ahead and take 50 microliters. We wanna do everything aseptically, so you always have to have a um, flame going. Remember, you open the tip box, get your tip, and then close it. We wanna keep it closed. Keep everything closed except for when you're using it. You don't want things contaminated. Here's a little trick for opening tubes that are hard to open. See the side of that? Look at that snaps right open. So I should have set this first though. By the way, this is a lock when you have one that's tricky to turn, unsnap it. That's so that you don't accidentally bump it and change the setting like that. See, harder to turn. So 50 microliters, here's our 10 to the zero. We're gonna add it, get rid of the tip. Should have passed it through a flame. Quick vortex, and now it needs to sit, right? Okay, done with that. All right, so now we've got our plates. They've been labeled, so we're ready to go. So this one is the dilution, so we're not ready for that one. This one's got the phage already streaked on it. We did that in the last video, so we now need a top auger. So we'll let me grab that. So here's the top auger. We're going to take the cap off. We don't need it anymore. We're going to throw this away. There's the X right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour it on the X. And we're just going to let it very gently cover the plate. Swirl it around until any air bubbles, bubbles holes are covered. And that's it. That's all there is to it. This is trash, this we keep. Once you are done with that, once you've poured it, leave it alone for five minutes. Don't move it, don't look at it, don't you know, pick it up and see, oh, is it solid? At least five minutes, lab manual says 20, between five and 20, you know it's safe. Um, but don't even slide it sideways because it's gotta solidify. Remember, you're looking for plaques. Plaques are small, they're hard to see, and if you move it, you're gonna get waves in the top auger, and that makes it almost impossible to see anything. So you have to leave it still, okay? So while that's solidifying, we'll deal with the other one. So we've got another plate here. It's, it's okay, by the way, to make marks on the lids, right? Because if you're dealing with 10 or 12 plates, different dilutions, you have to label the bottom, but you can put 10 to the zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, whatever on the lid so you know which one's which and you don't make a mistake. I do that all the time. Like right here, I have three different dilutions. If I was plating them all, 
I, I would also mark the lid so I could keep them straight. So we have our sample here. Let's pretend it's been five minutes so you don't have to sit here staring at this video any longer than necessary. The way we're going to put this on the plate, we're not going to spread it like you've seen in another video. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to just dump the top auger into here. That's going to mix it and we're going to pour it right on the plate. So here's another top auger. Again, don't need the cap. Pass it through a flame. Dump it right in. Always dump, add top auger to the sample, not the other way around. Add big to small. We're going to pour this in. You want to make sure that you don't leave any air pockets. You can be a little less gentle with this one because we're not worried about um, the dilution that's on there, right? So you can swirl it. You can move it back and forth to get rid of the, the air pockets. You want it completely covered, but once it's covered, put it down, leave it alone. Five minutes later, or ten minutes later, if you want to go clean things up, you're done. You'll be able to flip them over. They are all set. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Not a big deal. Remember, caps, we keep. These tubes, these tiny little tubes, are disposable. We will give you other tubes sometimes that are not disposable, that are bigger and thicker. But uh, mostly we'll be using these small disposable tubes that are trash and keep the caps though. And that's all there is to it.